Hi, this is Joanne Allenbaugh with Farms.com. I'm here at the 2010 Farm Progress Show, and I'm visiting with Grant Ozipko, who is the AgriSure brand manager for Syngenta. And we're looking at some fairly damaged corn ears here. Grant, tell us about what we see. So what we're seeing is uh, some examples from a field that's local with natural infestation of corn earworm. And we have some examples of what corn earworm can do for damage. So here we have a, a plant that was taken out of our, one of our trials about five miles away from um, Farm Progress Hill site. And you can see here in the ear, uh, this corn earworm is just poking out. He's about an inch and a half long, but you can only see uh, his head poking out here. And you can see the damage that they do to that corn ear, and that's a pretty significant amount of damage. And uh, this pressure, or this particular site, has a pretty high level of natural infestation of corn ear worm. And you can see all the plants that we have here. These were taken in order out of that same row. Uh, there's quite a bit of damage from each, uh, from corn ear worm on each one of these ears. So this is going to result in some uh, some issues um, to this corn, both from a standpoint of yield loss but as well as grain quality. Uh, with the moisture issues that we've had here in Iowa, uh, these, these ears are also now susceptible to mycotoxin and aflatoxin development, and that can really affect the way a grower uh, can market his grain, and it may mean a financial uh, loss for him uh, in some respects. So also what I want to show is uh, the AgriSure Viptera trait, and uh, here we have the trait that um, we have plants taken from this very same field where we're conducting this trial and you can see AgriSure Viptera traded products have controlled that corn earworm. So you can see full, uh, full ear development, a little bit of tip back with pollination, but for the most part we, we don't have any damage from that corn earworm. And, uh, this is pretty exciting from a grower perspective because what that does is it builds confidence and that confidence that grower can have by planting a product with in-plant trait protection, he can have confidence all year long that he's going to have control of not only corn earworm, but black cutworm, western bean cutworm, fall armyworm, and 12 other pests uh, that are on the AgriSure Viptera label. So we're pretty excited about this. This is going to be available for planting in, in 2011. So uh, next year is our launch year, and uh, we had a lot of customers, when they've looked at this corn, they told us they're going to be pretty happy with Syngenta when they uh, have a chance to plant it. I can understand that. It's a fairly significant difference. Absolutely. Grant, thank you very much. Thanks.